I just made a remote controlled boat from a Tupperware. It's a straightforward build that you can make yourself if you have RC experience. Now that summer has started, I wanted to use my pool for something other than swimming. So naturally, I decided to build a marine vehicle. The idea clicked in my mind when I saw the Brick Experiment channel make a submarine out of a Tupperware. Even though I don't have Legos, I have a 3D printer and can make mechanisms similar to his. Also, if you want access to any of the 3D print files or code, it'll be in my GitHub in the description. I started by grabbing a Tupperware and figuring out where to put the propellers. I opted for the side rather than the back so I could avoid turbulence from the hull of the boat. This meant that I would need a right angle mechanism to transmit the power from the motor to the propeller. Using these two bevel gears, I iterated through several prototypes till I landed on this version. You can see how this first version technically works, but is very sloppy. So I tried supporting one gear on one end and then two gears on two ends to minimize the wiggle room. Now I have a way for the propellers to point the right way. The one thing I really liked about the Brick Experiment Channel's build is his use of magnets. I wanted the boat to be totally waterproof in case I wanted to convert it into a submarine, and if I were to connect the motor directly to the propeller, I would have to drill a hole in the side. Making a waterproof hole is hard and requires a lot of thought. I didn't want to think so I just used magnets to transmit the force through the walls of the Tupperware. As for electronics, I'll put a block diagram up on the screen. The boat is radio controlled, so I used a radio receiver to talk to an Arduino. The Arduino then connected to two stepper motors via a CNC shield, all of which was powered by a 12 volt LiPo battery. A lot of people on TikTok asked me why I used stepper motors and, in all honesty, I was just working with what I had laying around. I could have used brushless motors, but I didn't have a matching pair. So now let's put it in the water. I set up these two buoys a meter apart so we can test its speed. It took 10 seconds to travel a meter, so if you crunch the numbers, it goes at 0.36 kilometers per hour or 0.22 miles per hour. Pretty slow. It's definitely not fast, but it's very fun to drive around. I liked doing figure eights around the buoys, and it's also totally waterproof, which means that I can upgrade it to a submarine in a future video. One problem is that the radio waves don't travel well underwater, so I'll have to come up with some other way to communicate with the submarine. I hope you get the chance to build this sub for yourself, and if you do, definitely let me know about it. Thanks for watching.